Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, we have a look going on here today. This is the Kaleidos liquid lipstick from the Panning Punk project. Um, I've reapplied it now so I feel like I've used it twice. I like it. It's just very dark. It's very... I don't know if this is like the normal look that I'd go for with this, but we're, we're working with it today. We are working with it. Um, we are also doing a multi-box unboxing today for all of our April boxes. Why can I never remember the freaking month? We have Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus, which they have so kindly sent me. Thank you very much. We have the AIA Beauty Bundle. We have the Detox Box, which got into a fight with my mailbox and lost. We have our Boxy Charm Box, and then we have our Boxy Charm Premium. Um, so it's just a whole slew of boxes that we will be unboxing today. Pretty excited. So like always, I will be linking all of the boxes and inf information down below, as well as links to the products in the boxes, as well as timestamps. So if you're only interested in a box or two, timestamps will be linked down below and you can just skip right ahead to whatever you're interested in. Let's start with the regular BoxyCharm box. A BoxyCharm is $27.99 per month and it is like five full-size beauty products. You get to pick one of them, I'm pretty sure. The theme this month is hashtag Boxy Spring Revival. Are we, did spring need to be revived? I had no idea. I remember my choice for this month because it is the first product that I'm seeing here. Uh, the ch my choice was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Um, they were out of a lot of shades by the time I showed up, like they always are. But I got the shade 100N, which I'm pretty sure is going to work just fine for me. This is a $38 foundation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, that gets me excited. Here's my thing. I've used this foundation a lot, and I think I actually have one. Um, I don't like the pump, okay? And I do think that there are many better foundations out there. Now, as far as, like, me picking this for choice, this was, like, one of my favorite choice options that they had. And I'm not going to turn down a $38 foundation. I feel like foundations just aren't something we get in the subscription boxes a lot. So I normally end up buying them for myself. I do like this foundation. It is a nice foundation. I just think that there are a lot better ones out there. It's not my favorite by any means. And the pump on this sucks. This will be, I think, my third bottle. And maybe my fourth. I don't know. The pump always sucks. Like, the pump is a nightmare. But at least it has a pump, I suppose. Now, this is claimed to be a water-resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous and natural finish. It looks so great on its own. There's no need to set with a powder. I always set my foundation with powder. Do y'all not set foundation with a powder? Because I feel like I always need to. Otherwise, everything smudges. It's a medium coverage foundation, though. Like I said, I do like this foundation, but like right off the bat, I already have tried this and I know that it's not my absolute favorite, but it is like a good everyday foundation. It's just not going to be life-changing like the A Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow that I just did a video on. That is a life-changing foundation. Thank you. The next product, this is from Sila. Oh my gosh, I love this brand. This is the brand that does that scrub that I love, but I hate the packaging of. This is the gentle glacial cleansing cream oh what is that so this is a new brand to boxy i'm assuming because of their affiliation with ipsy now this is 45 dollars. a gentle cleansing cream helps the removal of makeup environmental pollutants and dead facial skin cells to reveal a fresh glowing appearance i love it so you rinse face with warm water apply cleanser with palms or soft cloth to face and neck in circular motions i feel like a lot of face washes claim to remove makeup but they're not like makeup removers but this is a cleansing cream and most of the time it's like a cleansing balm or cleansing oil so i'm wondering if this is actually like a face wash or like a makeup removing balm it feels similar to like a cleansing balm but like a little bit thinner right so almost like kind of a hybrid between a cleansing balm and a cleansing oil but i feel like that might be able to remove makeup. I'm really excited to try this out because I love this brand and this is a product that I have not tried from this brand. Um, and I'm really hoping that this can remove my makeup because that would just be <laughs> a good twofer. I love makeup removing products. Next product in here is from Studio Makeup. It is the Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum, one fluid ounce. This retails for $45 as well. This is the perfect serum for all ages. Highly concentrated hyaluronic acid rejuvenating serum works to quickly reverse the effects of dehydration and loss of elasticity while keeping the skin highly moisturized throughout the day. All right. Well, I'm liking those claims. I have tried this brand before. I think maybe like a tinted moisturizer that they had. The packaging for this is amazing. It's so tall. I love that. Because it's so tall, because the dropper is so tall, you get a lot out. I normally use multiple drops of like a serum that come in dropper bottles and that one you might only need one drop because that one drop that was a lot of serum that feels really nice on the skin though it feels 
I mean, bear in mind, it's just my arm. Oh, that sunk in really well, too. Okay, yeah. I'm excited to try that. I haven't tried very much from Studio Makeup, but like I said, I feel like there was like a tinted moisturizer that we got at one point. Um, and that was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I think I ended up decluttering it, but it was okay. I'm excited to try the serum, though. Next up is from Item Beauty. I've liked some of this stuff. The packaging, I think, is so cute because it's like you tear it. This is, oh no, what is this? The Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. Oh, this one I have tried. This is $15. And I'm pretty sure, oh god, this is where my memory comes in. I'm pretty sure I ended up liking this mascara. I'm not going to open it now because I have so many open. Um, if you know, you know. But I remember trying this and I, I remember trying this and I believe I liked it. Like I believe I was really pleasantly surprised with how well it worked. So I'm excited about that. I'm always down for more mascaras because that means less mascaras I have to buy myself. Too many mascaras out there. Mascaras are too expensive. I don't want to have to buy it myself. The last product in here is from a brand called Lucky Chick. This is the liquid eyeshadow. Ooh, and rose quartz. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. This is also a new brand to Boxy. It retails for $22. It is a gorgeous metallic pink shade that creates a beautiful tone while radiating a subtle shimmery glow. Ooh, interesting, interesting applicator. It's like a, a plastic or a rubber paddle almost. Look at that shade though. Yeah. I'm into that. Um, that is stunning. I love liquid eyeshadows, but I feel like I never reach for them and I'm trying to make like a conscious effort to reach for them more. But that is beautiful. And I cannot wait to try that out on my lids. I feel like you pair this with like a light pink or a palette that has like a light pink shadow in it. That's gonna look so pretty. Like a light pink, pink, a little brown for springtime. <sighs> okay, um, this box I actually am really excited about because you've got a beautiful liquid liner or a beautiful liquid shadow. You've got a mascara. You have a full size foundation, a serum, and a cleanser. This is a great box. It's been I I normally like the original boxy charms. I think I like the premium the best usually, but it's been a while since a like the regular BoxyCharm box has like really stood out to me and this is quite a fabulous box. So good job Boxy. I'm really excited about all of those products. All right, now let's talk about Boxy Premium. Boxy Premium is $39.99 a month. You get six full-size beauty products and you get to pick one or two of them. I think it's two. The theme this month is the same as the regular BoxyCharm. We have some paper. What the hell kind of throw was that? My God. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. The first product in here is from Natasha Denona. It exceeds the cost of the box. April's going to be a good month, y'all. I can feel it. This is the Cupid Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. Oh my goodness, I love these from Natasha Denona. This is a boxy exclusive, a perfect pairing of Natasha's iconic cheek formulas, a lightweight hydrating cream blush, and a luminous powder highlighter in two shades that flatter all skin tones. Both formulas can be applied with a brush or fingertips, meaning it's all you need for on the glow, on the go glow. I want, okay, I want to open it. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> That is so pretty. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do a swatch of the blush. Oh, that's gorgeous. Swatch of the highlight. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ooh. I love how this is like, now I only did like a quick kind of fingertip swatch, but that's very like flushed. Oh, that's going to look so good with that cream eyeshadow too. This is what it looks like. Um, my only issue with this is the fact that it is a powder and a cream together, which can get kind of messy. A lot of the times when Natasha Denona does stuff like this, she'll do a covering over part of it. This does not have that covering over part of it. So that is a slight concern, but honestly, I'm really excited to try these. These look so beautiful. I love the shades, and even the highlight has kind of like a rosy undertone to it. It looks gorgeous. Thank you. Oh my goodness. What a great start to the box. All right, the next product in here is from Iconic London. I love Iconic London. This is the Brow Silk Kit. You guys, I'm going ham on my brows lately. They don't look the greatest today because I tried to trim them and it did not work out the greatest, but um, I am really loving all of these new like brow kits and things that are coming out and like feather brows and brow pens. Like I'm loving all of it. And I'm really, I feel like trying to embrace learning my brows. Um, but this is the Brow Silk Kit. So this is $25 perfect for babes of all hair colors. The unique formula brings together all the best bits of brow soaps, waxes, and gels in one silky conditioning balm. Creating a clear film over your brows, it gives unbeatable lift and hold with zero chalky residue or crunchiness. Gripping every single hair, brow silk boosts 
sparse patches and makes arches appear thicker to save precious brow filling time. I'm really intrigued by that description and I do have kind of a sparse area on this brow so I'm really intrigued. Is that a toothbrush? Okay, I will say, so I was, I'm sitting, this is the product. And I was like, well, that seems like a lot for this box. But then they have like this toothbrush applicator. So this is the brow silk. Use wet or dry, brush the brow groomer into the formula and apply, apply directly to brows. So it literally looks kind of like a brow wax or a brow soap. And then you've got this applicator. Okay, it feels like more of like a wax formula. So I, I get why you could use that wet or dry. I'm really interested to try this. Like this, this sounds right up my alley. And I'm very... I'm just, I'm int intrigued is the only word that I can think of. Like, that's crazy. The next product in here is from Murad. I love Murad. This is the Skin Smoothing Polish Skin Wellness Through Cellular Hydration. It is a gentle exfoliating scrub that helps clear away pore clogging debris and excess oils for smoother, healthier looking skin. This retails for $39 and is made with gentle buffing bead beads and it gets sort of dead skin cells, rough patches and builds up in your pores for a complexion that's smooth, soft and radiant. I'm trying to remember if I've ever used this before and I honestly don't know if I have. I you've used products with like the blue on them before because I know their products are set up into like stages but I don't know if I've ever used this scrub before so that'll be really fun to try. I love scrubs and oh my goodness I am dropping everything today. Um, I actually need more face scrubs. I'm running low so that's perfect. <laughs> The next product in here is another new brand to boxy. It is from Mitchell and Peach. It is the English Leaf body oil. I've never heard of Mitchell and Peach. Um, a quick Google search shows that they are cruelty free. This is $68, blended with almond oil and vitamin E, a decadent body oil that leaves skin soft and scented. I love body oils. My skin has been so soft ever since I have started using a body oil and then like a lotion or a body butter. So I am like dead set on using body oils now. This is pretty packaging. I wonder what it smells like though. Cause I need something that like, I have to try because I'm using a body oil and a lotion, they have to kind of smell similar. Otherwise it's weird. That actually smells really nice, but feels so nice on the skin. It does only have kind of like a pore top though, which I feel like is going to get really messy. Um, even just trying it <laughs> now I've got oil everywhere, but it does feel really nice on the skin. Like that's so, Oh, that's so softening and it does smell really good. I don't, I can't place what that is. Lemon, basil, peppermint oil, cedarwood oil, lavender oil. Oh my goodness. There's so many things in here. So yeah, it's probably a combination of all of that that I'm smelling and it does smell very good. So I'm really excited about that. Love trying out new body oils because I still haven't found like my Holy grail. I really do like the macadamia oil one, um, or the, no, the Moroccan oil one, the Moroccan oil body oil but that one is kind of pricey. So I'm still, plus I've only tried a few so far and I'm still kind of, I'm still searching. We're still soul searching here. Um, the next product in here. So this is from My Beauty Brand. It is the Buy Me Black Liquid Eyeliner. It's $20. This is another new brand to Boxy. This is supposed to be your new Holy Grail product created for both the eyeliner expert and winged eye novice. A flexible felt tip combined with highly pigmented smudge proof color guaranteed for a long lasting and intensely defined look. The packaging is super simple. It is white with the name in a black print. It's a good tip. I like that. Oh, you guys. That is so dried out. Do you see this? Um, well, that's disappointing. Let me know if you guys got this in your box. Was it dried out? Should I email Boxy about that? Probably. Um, well, it's definitely not going to change how I do my eyeliner. The last product in here, this is from Nabla Beauty. I love Nabla. Their face products are amazing. This is the Shine Theory Lip Gloss in the shade Renaissance. The packaging, stunning. I feel like I have one of these. If not this one, I might have this one. I might have a different one. I don't know. It's just a very pretty kind of like gold shimmer gloss. Um, that's really nice. I'm normally not a lip gloss person. There are a few that I'm kind of starting to wear, but these shimmery ones have never really been my thing. And I'm starting to really enjoy a little shimmer on the lips. I've been a matte lip person for so long and now like other things are just nicer because I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm getting older, but the matte just is not working for me as well. But I'm excited to try that out. This box was nice. Okay, we've got the Mitchell & Peach body oil. We've got the Murad scrub. Really excited about those. The Iconic London Brow Set. Love that. The Natasha Denona Cheek Duo. That's two products and one baby. Love that. I am excited to try out this lip gloss. This, kind of a bummer. But honestly, all in all, I'm going to email Boxy about the eyeliner. All in all, this was a great box. Um, BoxyCharm Premium. I think, honestly, I was just about to say I think I might be more into the regular BoxyCharm this month, but this one did have really good products in it. 
I like them both. I like them both. I don't know. I don't know. Get both of them. Get both of them. Who cares? Let's talk about Ipsy now. Now, I have the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for March in here. Nope, for April. Why do I keep wanting to say March? I know that it's not March. April. It's April. Um, yes, Glam Bag, Glam Bag Plus. Ipsy was kind enough to gift these to me. I have not even opened this box yet. I normally pre-open them, but then I forget what I've pre-opened and what I haven't pre-opened. Okay, so they did very kindly gift both of these to me. Thank you very much, Ipsy, for that. I appreciate it. Um, let us jump in and see what's in the boxes. So the theme this month for both of the boxes is Keep Growing. Ooh, and they're made with recycled fabric. The glam bag is made with recycled fabric. That's so nice. Spring is here, and just like you, the earth has come alive. Take this month to plant big ideas, nourish your skin, and live a little greener because it's your season to bloom. Okay, so this is the... OG glam bag. This is made with recycled fabric. I love that. It is $13. You get five sample size products and I believe you get to pick one of them. Now because this was gifted to me I don't get to pick one but I'm excited. I am moving away from sample size products but like <laughs> I still really like them. I'm just trying I'm trying to use them up. I'm trying not to hoard sample size products anymore okay. So the first product in here these this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I know that these are super popular. A lot of people use this before they do their makeup to give their skin like a little bit of glow. I'm actually using a different one right now. I'm using another one by Glow Recipe. I plan on using my full size of this next so maybe I'll try out the sample first um, but I really love Glow Recipe and this has been a product like I own it and I've been wanting to try it out but like I own it I know that I like it and so that's really exciting just to have a little sample of because that just means that I get extra to use. The next product this is from Way Beauty. This is the Melrose Place Body Cream. Oh my goodness. I love their scented products. Like their body creams and their perfumes. Maybe they, I think this is what I had the body cream in and I used it up. Why do I act like I'm able to remember these things? I'm excited about this though. I love this body cream. This is great and this is so cute. This is an ounce of body cream which is awesome. We also have, this is from Carmella. We got an eyeshadow palette from Carmella last month I believe. I'm pretty sure. Um, and this looks like it's a full size. This is the Silk Matte Lipstick in the shade Divine. Oh, I love lipsticks. Okay. Cute packaging. It's like very simple, but there's kind of like these glossy Ks on it. Oh, yes. I'm running out of space. It's right here. I'm running out of space on my arms because of that eyeliner, but that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, I love that. That's literally like the type of shade that I try to buy when I buy lipsticks. So that's gorgeous. I'm really excited to try that out. Then we have the Foxy Bay Insta Bay 3 Minute Hair Mask. I've actually used Foxy Bay hair masks before. The ones that come in the little packets. And I like them except I hate the packet thing. And I don't remember if it's the, I, is it the 3 Minute Hair Mask that comes in the little packets? I honestly don't know. But I know that I like Foxy Bay hair masks either way. So that's really cool to be able to get to try one. And hopefully if I like it I'll be able to get it in like a full size thing instead of like little kind of travel size packets. But that's awesome. Foxy Bay is like a good hair care brand. They have hair tools and like hair care. And everything that I've tried from them thus far has actually been really good. But it's a brand that like no one talks about and I don't know why. The last product in here, this is from Wander Beauty. This is the Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. <sighs> okay, you guys know how I feel about many mascaras. They're so cute. And this is such a cute one too. Um, I have tried this full size mascara and it is wonderful. So yes, please. I will take all of the mini mascaras of this wonderful. I feel like that was the quickest I've ever gone through a bag ever. I actually really like all these products in here. Does this mean that I've tried too much beauty products now? Like I've, li <laughs> except for the lipstick, I've tried everything in here. But yes, a mini mascara, some glow recipe dew drops, a hair mask, a body cream, and a full size lipstick. Yes, please. Yeah, for $13, absolutely. Um, and also the bag is so cute. It's got like these daisies all over it. And then the little charm pool is a freaking daisy. I am obsessed with this. This is adorable. So good job, Ipsy. This was a cute bag. This was really nice. Next we have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is $28 a month. You get five full-size products and I believe you get to pick out three of them if you go through the app and like purchase the subscription. Again, they pick out all of my products for me because this is gifted, but that's a good deal. This is I think like the most customized like beauty subscription that you can get. So let's take a look to see what's in here. I picked out the thing that is sticking out. <gasps> Were these made like specifically for this box? Because that is the cutest thing. Okay, first of all, these are from Farrah. These are Farrah brushes. Um, I like Farrah brushes actually. I've gotten some Farrah brushes from Ipsy before and they've all been pretty nice. But you guys, look at these handles. These are little daisies. Oh my goodness. I am a sucker for cute brushes like this. This is adorable. So you have four brushes in here. You have the 820F. 
You have the 836E, which looks like a nice fluffy blending brush. You have the 860F, which looks like a highlight or contour brush. And then you have the 820FF, which that you could use for like kind of a variety of things. I'd probably use that for under eye powder because that looks like a good shape for that. Um, these are adorable. Like I'm obsessed with these. That is, I think, one of the cutest brush sets ever. And it's so cute for spring especially. So, you guys, this is going so well. Next up we have Butta, which I actually have like a serum or an oil from Butta. So I have heard of them before. This is the Tea Tree and Aloe Mask Scrub. It is a triple action clay mask, foam cleanser, deep exfoliator. I love it. A multitasking three-in-one facial cleanser and a powerhouse for blemished skin. It starts as a treatment mask, then it transforms into a gentle foam cleanser. Natural Eco Beads Deep Clean, and then the finishing touch, aloe, hydrates, soothes, and nourishes skin. Oh my goodness. Apply on an even layer to clean dry skin, avoiding eye and lip area. Leave on for three to five minutes. Splash face with water to activate. Massage into skin and rinse. Yes. I'm not normally a fan of like scrubbing masks, like exfoliating masks, but I'm really interested to try this out because just the way that they describe it and the way that it's supposed to work sounds incredible. So this will definitely be, definitely be on the top of my list to try. Next up, we've got, this is from Misho, Misho Beauty, the Misho Beauty Blush Palette. I've never heard of this brand before, but let's see. Kind of cardboard packaging, which I like. I prefer this. I know a lot of people don't like this cardboard packaging, but I, it's so, I just, I love it. I don't know why. Oh! Ooh, those are pretty blush shades, y'all. And it comes with a mirror in the palette, which is wonderful. Those are gorgeous. I've never heard of this brand before, but this Magnifique shade is calling my name. And then this Misho shade, which is like this hot pink. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, I'm really excited to try that out. You guys, I might be able to do like a fucking full face after all of this. This is crazy. I'm loving this though. This is seriously, I think, some of the most excited that I've been. Like this month is going wonderfully. Um, and then you've got kind of two kind of more neutral pinky shades down at the bottom here. This is gorgeous. I love this. This is such a cute palette. Um, I'm really excited to try it out. I love blush palettes. I don't know why because I have more blush than I'm ever going to be able to use. But for whatever reason, like blush palettes, a bunch of blushes in one format um, just brings me so much joy and excitement. I don't know. The next product in here, this is from Hip. This is the Liquid and Coal Liner in Midnight Black. Ooh, a nice dual-ended liner. I love that. From Hip Dot. Is it from Hip Dot? Yeah, it is. It's from Hip Dot. Okay, Hip Dot. That's a good brand. So on one side, you have a liquid liner. That looks promising. Okay, we're already doing better. And then on the other side, you have like a nice coal pencil liner, and they are both in black. Um, I love that and I love products like this where it's kind of two in one because every day I use a pencil liner and every day I use a liquid liner. Most days I use a liquid liner, like 99% of the time. But having both of them in one kind of convenient packaging is just convenient. And so I love products like this where you kind of got dual purposes um, and that's really cute. I like that. I'm excited to give that a shot too. Alright, last product in this bag. This is from House Laboratories. I see the word blaze. This is the Le Riot Gloss, Ultra Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Blaze. Um, I think I have one of these. Either that or one of their liquid lipsticks. God, I love this packaging. Oh, this packaging is so cute. So the shade Blaze. Oh, that is a gorgeous shade. Do you see that? That is so pretty. I feel like most of the um, House Laboratories products that I've seen are definitely more like kind of on the wild side. And I do like that, but it is nice to be able to get just like such a nice basic shade that I feel like so many of us are going out and purchasing in bags like this instead of kind of the more, the more, I don't want to say weird, right? But just the more like shades that most people would not wear on an everyday basis, even though you totally could wear it on an everyday basis. Hello. But I like getting kind of just the everyday makeup that a lot of people reach for every day. I feel like it just makes it better for like, you know, the average consumer, the average person who wants to just try out new makeup. I just feel like this kind of fits more into the majority's preferences. And that's awesome because I think it is so nice to just get everyday kind of basic neutral shades in packages like this. So a beautiful lip gloss from House Labs, a beautiful blush palette an exfoliating mask scrub, a dual-ended liner, another two-for-one, and a four-piece brush set with daisies on them. You guys, I am loving this. I am loving this. This might be, like, 
Good job, MC. This is fabulous. Um, let's move on to the detox box. Mine is open at the top here because I got into a fight with my mailbox. Um, it got shoved in there and it didn't fit and my husband had to yank it out, but that's okay. So the detox box is $58.95 a month. This is my most expensive box that I have, but the products are so good. And um, they tend to be like a one brand box. Same with AIA Beauty Bundle. They tend to just kind of focus on one brand. Now the issue though is you're supposed to open this from the top. So let me pull out the information stuff. So the brand this month is Province Apothecary. I've never heard of that brand before. I'm assuming that's skincare, right? Province Apothecary creates high quality products using pure locally sourced ingredients that restore harmony to even the most sensitive skin. In search of clean alternatives for battling eczema, Julie Clark harnessed the power of plant herbs and oils to develop her mindfully made skincare products. Okay. This is the Reduce, Reuse, Renew Detox Box. It features a trio of eco-friendly, plant-powered skincare rituals and is the ultimate way to care for yourself while looking out for Mother Nature. I love it. All right, so let's take a look to see what is inside. The first product in here, pick it off the top, this is the Vital Nutrient Face and Eye Balm. It's got hyaluronic acid and baka choil, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. Don't come for me, please. This is $36 for half of an ounce. It's 0.53 ounces, if that matters. This balm contains antioxidant-rich tea wax, which is an upcycled byproduct of decaffeinated tea to tone the look of skin in an earth-friendly way. This is very interesting to me, um, just the fact that these products are kind of made to be friendlier for the environment. Cute packaging. I love this shade of blue. Can we just talk about that for a second? That's gorgeous. So it says that it contains wax. So I'm curious about the texture. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. It's like a yellow. I don't even know what you guys can see anymore. Oh, it's definitely waxy. Oh, it smells like shea butter though. Oh, you guys know I love the scent of shea butter. It's definitely waxy. I used way, way, way too much. Um, but I'm very interested to try that. It probably as an eye balm is what I, I feel like I'd reach for this for, but I'm intrigued. Um, it seems really interesting. It's a, it's kind of a unique concept. The next product in here, this is big. This is a reusable silicone sheet mask set for face and eyes. <gasps> this set is $36 and it says it's made from reusable food grade silicone. So you can enjoy the benefits of sheet masks sans waste. And it comes in like little baggies to keep them in. You guys, there's also, what is this? This is a rejuvenating and hydrating face serum little sample. You guys, I love these. I've heard about these and I actually have some of like the eye gel thingies, not from this brand, but from a different brand. These are designed to hold oil serums and balms close to the skin because most of what is in sheet masks is just like serums and boosters and things like that. And it's just, you're, you're getting it really close to your face and you're kind of holding it there for a while. These are reusable masks. You pair them with a hydrating product, rinse and reuse. So they help active ingredients penetrate deeper into the skin, deeply hydrate and improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and then refines overall skin tone and texture. Prepare your skin with our toner, followed by our face serum or face and eye balm. Apply the eye pads first, followed by the full mask. Secure the face mask by looping it around your ears. I love masks that do that. Let the mask sit for 10 to 30 minutes and then remove. So um, I, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am currently trying to use up my sheet masks just because I feel like it's so much waste for a one-time use mask. And I'm trying to just kind of reduce my waste as much as possible um, because you know every, we're all so wasteful and like I'm so I have so I produce oh, I produce so much waste in so many ways that I feel like the little things that I can do to help right even just the products that I go through produces so much waste because I go through so many products so something like this I've been looking into and I just haven't been able to find something that I liked I found some eye patches but I haven't tried them yet but I am so pumped because you just use this with your regular skincare so also bear in mind if you are somebody who's trying to like work through a good skincare collection and you like sheet masks but you don't want to buy sheet masks you will go through serums and, and hydrating products with this because you do have to use quite a bit um i'm pumped about this i am so excited such a unique product to get a subscription box and i literally have been looking for something like this i am so pumped oh my goodness okay we got one more product left in here. This is the Regenerating Exfoliator and Resurfacing Mask. It's lavender and green tea. All of this stuff is made in Canada, by the way. That's interesting. This is $36. It is a two-in-one formula that is waterless, but it also comes with a compostable pouch labeled with eco-friendly ink. I love that. This gently exfoliates to reveal smooth, luminous skin. So you can exfoliate manually with this. Um, with massage or use it as a hydrating mask. You combine one teaspoon of this with half of a teaspoon of water or 
three pumps of a moisturizing oil cleanser and makeup remover. Apply to face with gentle pressure. Leave on for five minutes if using as a mask. Remove with damp cloth. Use every three days. Shake well before use. One package provides up to 27 applications. So that's not bad. Oh, this is a good box. Okay. Face and eye balm. Mask. These babies. Um, yeah. I don't need anything else. Almost all good. What a good... I, what a good box. Oh my goodness. The last box that we have here is the AIA Beauty Bundle. This is $38. It is influencer brands, um, but influencer brands can also mean like high-end brands, brands that you had no idea had anything at all to do with influencers. It's a very interesting concept they have here. But every box is kind of a brand introduction to a bunch of various brands. Every box is one brand only, and this is one of my favorite boxes. It used to be bi-monthly. They switched it to monthly, and I'm so excited so let's see what the brand is this time are you ready for the big reveal this is so exciting to me <gasps> nude sticks it's nude sticks oh my goodness there are count them five products in here from nude sticks you guys all right let's see the first product in here this is the citrus sea mask and daily moisturizer I'm actually using a cleanser from Nude Sticks right now, and it's pretty good, but I think it's the first, like, skincare product that I've, I've used from them. This is $38. It is a hydrating moisturizer, sleeping mask, and makeup primer, all in one naturally powerful formula. Vegan-powered actives, deeply moisturized skin to help improve elasticity and tone, and renew skin texture for soft, smooth, hydrating, glowing skin. Use every morning as a daily moisturizer on clean skin or under makeup, and layer is a nightly treatment mask for dehydrated skin. Oh my goodness. Well, let's try. I wanted to say March again. April is turning out to be a fabulous month. I'm so excited to try this. <laughs> I didn't even know they made this. That's so cool. The next product is one of their magnetic matte lip colors. I love these. I have these in various shades. This is in the shade Boho. It's $26 retail. These are such beautiful lippies and they do last a good long time. That is oh, a gorgeous shade. I am looking out like this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love these. If you've not tried these, you need to because they are fabulous. The lip ones and then the eye colors are so good. Next up, we have the Nude Sticks Lash Lengthening Mascara. It is a 4% tripeptide boost complex. This retails for $28. Makes lashes longer by more than 11% and thicker by more than 15%. Delivers natural, full, and feathery lashes. I don't think I've ever tried the Nude Sticks Mascara. Um, the next product in here is the Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color in Sunkissed. I'm actually working on finishing up one of these. Let me tell you, <laughs> there is a lot of product in these. I have a couple of these in different shades, though, and I love them. They have a brush on one side. I don't personally use the brush, but it is there if you need it. And the shade Sunkissed retails for $34. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. These cream blushes are genuinely some of my absolute favorites. Like I said, I'm working on using up one right now just because I ran out of room Ironically, now I have room, but now I'm almost done with it, so I'm just going to keep trucking with it. But I absolutely adore these. These are great, and I have a couple more that I'm not currently trying to use up, but these are so good. <laughs> I love nude sticks. Oh my gosh. The last product in here is the Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. Like I said, this is in the shade Dew Wop. $26. You guys, for like an inner corner moment, for like a highlight shade, <gasps> for just a shimmer on the eyes. I feel like... So, I feel like with nude sticks, these really are their most popular products. The cream cheek products, and then the matte lip crayons, and then the eye crayons. These are their most popular products. So if you've never tried nude sticks before, this is a great introduction. It is crazy to me, but I don't think I have any of these shades. Which, like, I've tried so much from nude sticks. I have so many shades. So, that is incredible. But they're all so just beautiful, like, everyday basic shades that would go with a variety of, of makeup looks. And then we also got a mascara, which I've never tried before, and the mask slash moisturizing product. What a great introduction to the brand. If you've never tried it, it's a great introduction. And even if you have, this is just such a great kind of mess of products. Y'all, these boxes were something else. Like, I am so pumped. This was an amazing box, an amazing month for subscription boxes. I can't even talk. I am so... 
I'm so excited. So that is my unboxing for today. What do you guys think about the March boxes? About the April? God, what the hell? What do you guys think about the April boxes? Um, did you get any of these boxes? Do you get any boxes that are not these? Let me know down below because I always like to check out new boxes. Um, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was informative for you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me. I will catch you guys next time. I have makeup to play with. Thank you.